This is the version 1.4 motor kit. As denoted by this sticker, this is for the FarmBot Genesis XL device. The one for the standard size FarmBot is very similar, it just has shorter cables. Let's take a look inside. Each motor kit will include four NEMA 17 stepper motors. And these have been custom designed to include our logo and have the rotary encoders pre-mounted and tested. So when you go and plug this in, you're gonna plug in both a motor cable and an encoder cable. The motors have the shaft right here with two flat sections. And so when you attach the flex coupling or the GT2 pulley, you'll tighten a set screw onto both of the flat sections so that you get a very strong connection between the pulley and the motor shaft. The stepper motors are 200 step per revolution motors meaning they can move in 200 small increments for each revolution of the motor. So that allows the FarmBot to position itself very precisely in the X, Y, and Z space. The rotary encoders are 360 line per revolution encoders, and those will monitor the stepper motors to make sure that they actually move to the position that you wanted them to move to. In the event of FarmBot being unable to move to a location, for example, because a hand was put in the way or there was a, a plant vine that grew over the tracks and prevented FarmBot from moving, the motor will stall and the rotary encoder will detect that and send the signal back to the FarmBot to, to let it know that it's unable to move forward. And you can set in the firmware different options for how to handle that situation. In the box, in addition to the four stepper motors, are the motor cables and the encoder cables. The motor cables will have a small label on the end indicating which axis the cable is for. All four motor cables and encoder cables are different lengths. So this is for the X2 motor, and there's also the X1 cable, a Y, and a Z motor. One end, this end in particular, will plug into the farm Duino, and this end plugs into the motor. Here is the Y-axis encoder cable. This large black connector will connect to the farm Duino, and this smaller white connector will connect to the Y-axis rotary encoder. And that is the version 1.4 motor kit.